Good morning, people. If you live off grid, whether it be on a boat, in a cottage, in a camper, like you see behind me, whatever, and you need solar power to have those everyday conveniences, you've often come to the same conclusion that I have. Do you go with folding solar panels, which are have that benefit of being able to move them around? If you're taking them camping, you can use them there. You can use them at home in your backyard. You can use them at the cottage. It's easy to transport. They're light. They're efficient and they've got a lot of features going for them. But the downside is you can't really just leave them out 24 seven in the rain, in the sun, in the shine, in the who knows what inclement weather, wind will knock it over. Um, so then you go, okay, well let's go glass panels. Uh, so then you got really big glass panels like these ones, two 550 watt Renogy panels, bifacial. These are two 200 watt solar panels, also Renogy actually, but they're not bifacial. And then these are to 190 watt eco worthy but i think i found us a, a solution where you have the portability of these folding panels down here with the leave it out 24 7 if you want and that is what renergy has sent me and it's called a solar briefcase and i actually have two of them but i'll show you what it looks like all folded up this is the renergy solar briefcase it is 220 watts and it has the features of a glass panel of being able to leave it out because it is sort of a folding glass panel. But the benefits of it being not too heavy, it's seven point something kilograms or about 15 pounds, which is plenty fine. I mean, unless you're backpacking up Mount Everest, 15 pounds is gonna make a difference there. But in every other <laughs> type of uh, use case, 15 pounds is not that heavy. So you can take it camping, you can bring it with you on the go and you've got 220 watts. Now. They sent me two to review so I actually I can put them in series and make a 440 watt panel system which I'm going to show you in this review now just so you know I'm not this is not a paid sponsorship I'm not being paid by Renergy they have just been good with me about sending me products especially when they're new on the market to review and I tell them that's great send it to me but I'm going to do the pros and the cons because there's almost no product in the world that is perfect where there's absolutely no cons. And I do have two cons. I'm kind of foreshadowing the end here. Two cons, but the vast majority of what I think of these is positive. And just so you know, I don't really talk about this, but when, when companies send me products, I do the pros and the cons. But sometimes once I'm done reviewing, I have to contact them and say, I'm sorry, there's just so many cons and so few pros that that old adage your mother used to tell you, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, I call them and say, yeah, I'm not going to do a review because all it'll be is a bash fest. It's going to be all cons and very few pros. You don't want that and I don't want to do that. So I do get products that I just never show you. So if you see a product being reviewed on my channel, just know you're going to get the pros and the cons. And if you never see a product, that's probably because either I never got it or I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. So if you see a product on my channel, just know that it has more pros than cons. So I find it has merit, but like I say, very few products. In fact, I can't think of one single product yet I've ever reviewed where I couldn't have said, wish they'd done one thing different, you know, at least one thing different. In this case, there's two things that I wish they'd done differently to improve on this product. So let's get to it. Now I filmed this yesterday. It's now blue sky today. Surprisingly, it's supposed to rain today. So I, I filmed this yesterday, but I wasn't prepared to do the on-camera stuff. So uh, just so you know, it's a different day. These are 220 watt panels. You're going to see from the footage that the day I did it, uh, I set them up right here. And unfortunately it was in the afternoon and to get the perfect 220 watts, you really need to have it hundred percent accurately pointed directly at the sun. Unfortunately, this is going to be one of the cons. These have a kickstand on the back. That's one size fits all. So whatever angle that kickstand is at, it looks like it's about 40 degree angle. Uh, that's the angle your panels are going to be at. So if that's not perfectly matching the angle of the sun in the sky, well, you're not going to get the full 220 watts, just so you know. Hey, it is a beautiful sunny day, and I am testing some more solar panels here at Bowman's Woods. That's right. We uh, bought a big, big property, rural, and we're going to make an off-grid home. But that's not for this video. I want to show you. I've got a lot of solar panels on the go. Those um, folding solar panels are great. If It's not going to rain, but of course... If it is going to rain, you should fold them up and take them out. Not really designed to be in the rain. The glass panels behind are definitely meant to be out 
I got the folding ones. I've got numerous folding ones from all different companies. They're great. Like I said, if you just need some extra power on a sunny day, you take those out. But then again, look at the weather forecast. Don't leave it out. Don't leave it out at your cottage if it's going to rain because, you know, I guarantee it's still going to work if it gets doused in a downpour. Now, these are just like the glass panels. They're IP68, 168, 68. Anyways, very waterproof, like a glass panel. You can leave these out, rain or shine. These are two 220 watt folding, they call them solar briefcases because when you fold them up, they have those handles and uh, they're like a hardened briefcase. Now I've been testing these for the last few days. It is really hard, as you can see, to get a perfectly blue sunny day. So it's hard to get the optimal weather, sun conditions to get them to uh, give you the absolute best they can give you. I've seen 190 watts um right now on this one panel i'm bringing in 169 i was seeing 170 from the other panel as well um, you obviously can put them in series and have in essence a 440 watt panel you know if you do that that's your choice as well i just wanted to test them individually right now to see if they're both giving the same rating and they are you know now 170 out of 220 i've seen 220 but i've also seen something reference 200 but we'll go with 220. I did the soup can test. And as you can see, there's some shadow. I cannot get a perfect angle. So as you know, for, I always give you the pros and the cons. The pros are you can leave these out. The cons are, see these little metal kickstands? That's the only angle. They open to that angle. So you can't, you can't really adjust them to be perfect soup can worthy zero shadow beside the can because you either have it, it's either, too not tall enough or you know too flat or whatever to match a perpendicular to the sun using as an example of how the folding panels have gotten around that they have like a strap system where if you uh, want it to be standing straight fairly straight up and down like in the late fall winter months you can make the strap shorter and if you want it to be more flat you can make the strap longer but with this kind, it's just a metal kickstand. It just pops out to one setting and that's it. So not that it's a bad angle, that's a pretty good angle, but that might explain why we're not bringing in the full 200 watts. Uh, it's bringing in about 170 on a crystal clear blue day. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in series and see if I get uh, double, the, double the rating by having them in series versus one panel at a time. Okay, good learning lesson here. So I'm bringing in 340 watts by having them in series. And this is a good learning lesson. So that a I was originally testing it with, I just used it because it has a nice big screen, easier to read, but clearly it can't handle this in series because it's, uh, what is it, 23.4 volt open circuit per panel. So that would be, uh, what is that, 46, 47 volts. I guess the a couldn't handle 47 volts open circuit and the Blue Eddy can. So it's bringing in 341 watts which if you do the math, 170 times two, 340. So it's doing exactly what it should do. It's giving us twice the capacity if you put these panels in series, as long as, read your specs, your solar generator or your MPPT controller, whatever you got going on, has the capacity to handle 47 volts open circuit. So the smaller solar generators definitely cannot, like, I have some small ones. I'm looking around. Do I have any out here? No, I do not. I have some small ones which I knew would not handle this, but I thought the Avery would. It is a larger solar generator. I think it's an output of 1500 watts, while the AC200 Max has, as you can see from that, 2048. That's the watt hours. It is a, over, I think, 2200 watts output. So it's a bigger solar generator than the Avery, and therefore it can handle a much larger solar array going into it. So there you go. Okay, let's talk about the specs of these. So folded up, the weight is 7.2 kilograms, which is about 15 pounds. Not crazy uh, heavy, but just goes to show you the quality of the glass they put in here. It's not paper thin, not paper light either. You want it to be durable, so, you know, weight isn't always a bad thing. And I wouldn't think 15 pounds would be uh, considered heavy by uh, any normal person's standards. Okay, so we got MC4 connectors on the edge of the, on the end of each wire. That's pretty much standard now. That's what an MC4 connector looks like. So uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about some proprietary cord coming out of it. It's IP68 with an ETFE coating. 
So what ETF e-coating means is that it's got a coating on it so that you uh, you don't have it haze over with age or you know get cloudy or smoky or whatever. Sometimes you'll see that on some of the cheaper solar panels where over time it'll get cloudy and of course lose efficiency there. It's got, uh, they say 3,000 times of being folded and unfolded. So uh, I guess they're just saying the quality of the hinges are, are good. I don't know how many times how many days you'd want to fold it and unfold it to uh, to prove that right or wrong. Uh, what else have we got here? Just looking at their website, it's on sale right now, 23% off. I'm Canadian, so it's showing $429 Canadian. I'll put a link down below where I believe you'll get an additional saving if you are choose to go that route. In the States, I am not 100% sure. I do not have that handy what the price is or if they have a sale on in the States as well. It is made of rust resistant alloy. Uh, so it's aluminum alloy, not metal, any of these components. So you're not gonna have rusting problems from the, the legs or any of the frame. So that's always good. And the panels are quite efficient at 22.7% efficiency. So if you know solar panels, that's, that's pretty up there um, for especially for a portable solar panel. So let's just go over the pros and the cons. Of course, the pros are it's portable light you can fold it up you can throw it in your uh, backseat of your car whatever if you go into the cottage or you're going camping these you take these with you quite easily again 15 pounds not very heavy uh, for you to even if you wanted to take them backpacking with them you could carry them with you the uh, efficiency is good the quality of Renogy the name brand is good uh, I like that they have got these little plastic bumpers so if you are treating it like a briefcase and you're kind of swinging it in your arms and you hit something you're not going to dent or break the panels so that's good now the downside i always give you the pros and the cons the downside is the cords that they come with are very short i would say they're maybe 18 inches long and that's really that's the shortest i've ever seen on a solar panel so when i wanted to do them in series like this i couldn't put them in one big continuous row and run them in series i had to make it parallel like this so that the cords could actually reach one panel to the other panel. So that's kind of a drawback. I don't know why Renergy decided to go that route. It's not saving them much money to have short wires. They could have made the wires long enough to reach all the way to the other end of its, its panels so you could go in series a lot easier and it really would have cost them pennies. So I don't know why they chose to go so short. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And the other thing is that these alloy kickstands are kind of one size fits all. You can't go longer than that. And really there's no setting for, for shorter. I mean, you can try and put it straight up and down, but if you did that on all the legs in a breeze, that whole thing would probably just flop down onto its back. So it's kind of like you just extend them all the way and that's the angle you're gonna get. <laughs> so there's not really a lot of adjustability in terms of the angle. Therefore, it's not always easy to get that perfect angle perpendicular to the sun. So, uh, you know, it, it, this is a good angle. I would say it's kind of like that good hedge of where the most appropriate angle is for solar panels. But it would be nice if they had a, uh, a leg system similar to these folding panels over here, where you know, you've know you got a strap or something where you can lengthen the strap to make the, the leg stick out further if you want it flatter or in tighter if you want it taller. But this is a one size fits all kind of uh, leg system. So overall, I would say these are great. The other pro I forgot to mention is because they're kind of like a glass panel you could, they are IP68, and of course you can just leave these out day, night, sun, rain, just sort of set them and forget them like I do with the glass panels that are over there. So that is a big plus because those folding solar panels, usually they're kind of like, well, even though they are water resistant, they definitely say don't leave them out in the rain, while these you can leave out in the rain much like you would with a glass panel. So all that being said, I'm giving this a unqualified thumbs up love its ability to just leave it and set it and forget it so that's why i'm going to definitely use this solar panel a lot it will probably end up sitting in my yard here by my trailer day in day out and uh you know if i need to go somewhere camping or something with the family i can take those easily like the big solar panels here way too obviously you're not taking those with you camping so this will be perfect for bringing camping with me and knowing that I can just leave it outside the whole time I'm camping, whether it's going to rain or not, which is going to be awesome. So thumbs up. And if you found this informative, show the channel some love by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more reviews. I have a solar generator on its way, another Blue Eddy solar generator coming, which I do will do a review for. I've also filmed a ton of footage of this new 155 acre um, forest property. 
more brushy at the front and more heritage forest at the back. Whole story behind that, that's going to be coming up. Again, filmed all that way before I've been filming this, but you know, when somebody sends you a product to review, they kind of want it done sooner rather than later. So this is getting filmed before I tell you the story of what I'm calling Bowman's Woods. So I'm even thinking of changing the channel's name to Bowman's Woods. That's to be discussed in a future episode you're going to see very soon after this one. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up, subscribe. Until next time, this is Craig signing off. Wishing you happiness and health. If we had another hanger, Teamwork. I'd be not too pleased. She went exactly where you wanted her to go.